Gaza grabbed wide support with promises of cutting a significant chunk of the country's enormous debt. Also with pledges to reverse the biting austerity measures and provide free electricity and food subsidies for poor families. Uh, free health care too for the uninsured and unemployed. They also promised to raise the minimum monthly wage while reducing the tax burden on the middle class and cracking down on the rich. I'm now joined by Professor George Catrugales, MEP for Syriza, to discuss the party's plans. Thanks for coming on RT International today. First and foremost, a very big congratulations uh, on this sweeping victory for Syriza. I must ask you, though, first immediately here, big plans for the party, very ambitious adjustments to social benefits, uh, uh, services, minimum wage adjustments. Of course, uh, the big question, George, is where's the money? Well, uh, as you already said, the Greek rich people have not suffered during the crisis. Instead, the rich people have become richer. And now it is the moment to pay. We must face tax evasion and tax fraud. And we are going to find the necessary money from that. And also, regard that also as a measure of social justice. Also, though, if I may jump in here, though, uh, some are saying it was massive borrowing that ultimately got Greece into the economic uh, situation it's in now. Uh, the plan, though, suggests the continuation of borrowing. Forgive me for asking, but could this be an example of making the same mistake twice? No, no, not at all. We don't want to continue this vicious circle of borrowing. We want to develop our productive forces. What we want to do is to put an end to the austerity policies now and then to renegotiate our debt with our debtors but without borrowing new money. We want to have Greece uh, based on its own forces. Do you think it's possible, George, that Syriza could form some sort of a coalition party government here? Some, some people are even speculating the, the new dawn could have some part of it. Your thoughts on that or too early days yet? Well, uh, we are short of two seats in the parliament to have the absolute majority. So very probably we are going to have uh, some kind of coalition government, although we do not have uh, an ideological affinity with uh, the other parties now representing the parliament. Anyway, we are going uh, to implement our program because we are very, very close to this majority. And above all, we want uh, to have the support of the Greek people because we want to change Greece and, uh, if possible, also to change Europe. George, let's for a moment go back to the issue of, of, of Greece's debt. It, it is absolutely enormous here. There's a lot of concerns about it. Uh, Syriza pledging to try and renegotiate the debt. But we are already hearing from some Eurozone members they're unwilling to allow Greece to do so. Is there a backup plan if the EU tells Greece that renegotiating is a big no-no? Well. The debt is not just a Greek problem. It is not even just a problem of the countries of the south, the countries of the European periphery. It is a European problem. Because if we have a European Union divided in countries that they cannot pay their debt, and in countries like Germany that they are gaining from that, we have a, a European Union that cannot anymore keep its cohesion. So what we propose is to have an international conference on debt similar to the International Conference of 1953, which regulated the debt of Germany. It is the only way for uh, the European Union to get out of this impasse of the austerity policies and have a reorientation towards a more social Europe. That's impressive, uh, trying to bring up some sort of a monetary policy going back seven decades. That's a sure sign of the times. There has been a lot of speculation about the uh, so-called series effect that could ripple across the Eurozone. Austerity fatigue, it's not just confined to Greece. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I do hope that we are going to be a catalyst for change in Europe. Because, to be sincere, we cannot change Greece if we cannot change also Europe. Our hope is that we can start a domino uh, beginning from Spain, where uh, elections are going to, have to take place in November. And uh, by this way, influencing a turn, in a new turn at the political spectrum throughout Europe. Because if you see now Europe, we have a clear confrontation between the forces that want the continuation of the austerity policies that, they, that uh, have resulted to stagnation in Europe and another front that wants to change that. 
And we are not alone. Even now, a big part of the Social Democrats, who till now uh, were making alliances with the Conservatives, are reconsidering. To give you an example, the president of uh, the Social Democrats in the European Parliament, uh, in his uh, declaration yesterday, said that the victory of Syriza sends a clear message in, to Europe for termination of the austerity policies and the end of the Troika. All right, uh, George Katrogalas, MEP for Syriza. Great thanks for coming on RT International today. Thank you for your time. M many thanks to you.